Welcome back to our channel Machinery and Technology. Today we have a truly electrifying topic, Chinese construction technology. At times it seems as if China is one of the colossal construction sites. The old is being replaced with the new, and the new is being replaced with the newer, in a perpetual cycle of destruction and creation. The sounds of jackhammers, backhoes and pile drivers in the soundtrack of the country recreating itself as readily as the changing patterns is a rotating kaleidoscope. Like an aging actress, since the beginning of the economic boom period in the late of 1970s, China has undergone so many facilities that it is virtually impossible to recognize the country for what it was once. In the past three decades, China has almost completely demolished and rebuilt itself. Research firm JK Dragonomics estimated that between 2005 and 2010 alone China dismantled more than 60% of its housing stock, which is more than 1,850 square kilometers of floor space, enough to blanket Greater London. And China isn't stopping there. According to the Ministry of the Housing and Urban Rural Development, almost every structure built before 1990, roughly half of the current housing supply, is set to meet the sledgehammer at some point over the next 20 years. New houses are built almost as quickly as the old ones are cleared away. As upward of 129 million new homes have been built in China over the past 30 years. Each year that passes sees roughly 2,000 square kilometers of floor space, enough to cover New York City, one and a half times, built across the country. Although it will be a false concern to think that China is simply upgrading its housing stock to meet modern standards, and will stop and be satisfied once this is done. No, even the buildings that are being built today will hardly last our this generation. Let's see how they build a 15-story hotel project in just 48 hours. You may ask, why so fast and is it the safe? Prefabricated modular buildings have many advantages. Level 9 earthquake resistance, diagonal bracing structure, lightweight, steel construction, best level 9 earthquake resistant testing. 6 less material, even though the construction materials are much lighter than the traditional materials. The floors and the walls are solid, with a sure footness, artine and soundproofing. Energy efficient, 150 mm thermal isolation for walking roofs, triple glazed plastic windows, external solar shading, heat installation, fresh air heat recovery, LED lighting, yearly AC energy consumption equivalent to 7 liter soil. Purification After three levels of purification, the purification efficiency for fresh air reaches 95 to 99.9%. Air exchanges is a 1 to 2.5 times per hour, and indoor air is a 20 times cleaner than a outdoor air. 1% construction waste. All components are factory made. Construction waste, mainly packaged materials, result from a side up only an amount of 1% of the total weight of the building. This is the first building in human history which combines almost all environmentally friendly, comfortable and secure elements. So, call it sustainable building.
and continuing to be a project with even more amazing speed in 30-story hotel with a completion speed of 30 days, you can only say what you can do in 360 hours. How can China build a hospital in just 10 days? On the first night, they held an emergency meeting and decided to build a hospital because of the potential epidemic risk. The whole management team, design team and the construction team were formed that night. The construction team immediately began to level the ground and lay anti-pollution on the ground. The design team asked the shelter hospital designed them during the SARS epidemic in 2003 for reference material and then spent three days designing the whole hospital. The 645,000 square foot makeshift hospital is made up to two floors and is already equipped with 1,000 beds, several isolation wards and 30 intensive care units. Yes, the total preparation time plus the construction time is 10 days only. But how did China manage to construct a hospital in just 10 days? Instead of the first building the foundation and then following up with the superstructure, prefabricated units also the construction of the foundation and the building envelope to take a place in parallel. So the prefabricated element, which would be Lego blocks that you would can see being created in actually fabricated off-site in a factory, at the same time the foundation are being prepared on the site. The panic built Hao Shenhan Hospital was also a model on the blueprints of the medical facility which was set up in Beijing in 2003 to help tackle the SARS epidemic, which also helped speed up the construction process. <laughs> 